I love when they move the free. Okay, focus, Ali. Focus, Ali. Hi, I'm clinical psychologist Dr. Ali Matu, and in this video, I'm giving you my reaction to the psychology and mental health behind BTS. I'm gonna start with the first ever BTS video I ever saw, which is dope. My friends Jonta and Dion introduced this to me last year. It was the middle of the pandemic. I was really struggling with my worries, with like creating routine, with like all the chaos of the year. And then I saw this video and I'm like, what is this? I mean, I was always a boy band fan in the 90s. I love the Backstreet Boys. I love the NSYNC. So at first I was getting a lot of uh, boy band vibes. And then I saw this and I'm like, they're, they're immediately very familiar and also like, Add another level. I mean, this dancing is like, it like puts Bye 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 to shame. I never seen any K-pop before. So BTS was also my introduction to everything K-pop. Bye, 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 gotta make it. I am pronouncing this so horribly. So I wait for like, the English lines and they're like super sing those lines. This, giving up on three, giving up on five. I'm like number six, how about giving up on six? The media and grown ups say, yeah, we have no will denouncing us. Why kill us before we can try the enemy, enemy, enemy? Keep your heads up, energy, energy, energy. Don't give up. You know you're not lonely. Our dawn is sleeping youth and go. I, I saw I saw those lyrics like I had to look up the English translation and I'm like the BTS is different BTS is singing about the economic struggle of being a young person in South Korea but that struggle spoke to me also as a person in my 30s dealing with all the economic crap that Millennials have to go to that gen 3 is going through even worse all the struggles, all the hustle culture I had in New York, trying to delay starting a family, trying to delay marriage, trying to delay everything for the promise of a better economic future that hasn't quite come to pass. BTS has social commentary that I hadn't seen before in in this kind of music, in like boy band kind of music in America. And I know K-pop is very different than boy bands, but when I saw this song, it pulled me in and it was exactly what I needed in the middle of the pandemic, something to absorb me, something to take my mind off everything else going on in life, something I could spend a lot of time exploring. So, so Jonta and Dion, thank you for introducing me to BTS. They were one of the biggest mental health supports I had in 2020. Took my mind off all the struggles of the pandemic. And it's, I think I even like mentioned that in my coronavirus mental health videos, how we all need something that absorbs us. I could probably edit something like that in here that I've said in a previous video. Okay, I don't think this outfit is like BTS enough. Hold on, let me see if I can like, make it pop a little bit more. How's that? I feel like, I feel like this is a little bit more BTS approved. All right, let's talk about their music videos. And I want to start with Boy With Love. Not only does this song have a killer beat, but it kind of shows us why we might even experience music. Like, man, their outfits. Oh my gosh, we're like almost wearing the same color here. How's your day? Okay, focus, Ali. Oh man, that dance with the leg movement. Oh, that foot movement. I, that is my favorite BTS move. I wanna, I wanna be able to do that so badly, but I can't. Okay, but like, look how well in sync everyone is. This is the theory for why we experience music, that music somehow syncs us together. We bob our heads along to the beat. We dance along to the beat. A crowd will move together with a beat. And you see that, like, even as they're like walking over to that next like stage, oh my God, and the colors in sync, it's so good. It's, this video is so good. 
Oh, it's the movement again. I love when the movement free. Okay, focus, Ali. Focus, Ali. I'm going to share this quote from this neuroscientist, um, Anirudh Patel, who says, "Somehow, moving in time with other people to a common beat blurs the line between self and other, and makes you more likely to be cooperative or pro-socially oriented towards the person outside of the musical context." And this is it. This is why we probably have music. That it, uh, one of our greatest advantages as a species is how we can socially cooperate in large groups, in groups beyond our family. Hundred plus people can cooperate, and, and oftentimes music is what helps us bring together to work in more unison. And man, this video shows this concept so well. All right, let's talk about fake love and. Um, I'm probably gonna say this with every song, but this is one of my favorite BTS videos too. But this shows a very different psychological phenomenon. And I wanna talk about how it's edited. If you're just watching regular life, your your eyes will move to whatever is, is drawn uh, to you, whatever speaks out to you in the environment. But this video, it's like so tightly edited, how the camera moves and what you're looking at. When you watch a really tightly edited video like this one and most BTS videos, your sense of sound, of vision, of language, these different things sync up. And if we're able to scan your brain, scan the brain of a group of people who are watching this video, they're gonna have a more of a clear, consistent, experience in their minds. This is why it's very different to watch a music video versus watch BTS live. Your eye might be going towards lots of different things, but when you're watching a video, people have a pretty clear, consistent experience. It's one of the reasons why we like reaction videos so much is because um, it's pretty validating to see someone else go through the same experience. Fake a love, fake a love. My daughter and I love this video so much. She loves us singing this fake love and then like we make our own riffs about it and do different things. But yeah, anyways, tightly edited videos equal much more clear, consistent brain activity. I really love this song too. It immediately communicates something so different than most BTS songs. Um, you're seeing a much more reflective moment. Seems like a sad moment and the music starts to play and the music is not all upbeat, but the music is much more somber. It's much more reflective. It's slower. And what Spring Day shows us is how music works like a language. And sometimes music is even more effective at communicating really tough, complex, emotional experiences than words or stories can. And Spring Day is bringing together the visuals, the, the music, as well as the lyrics and singing and rapping to tell a very specific story. I love these lines right here. Is it you who changed? Or is it me? I hate this moment, this time flowing by. We've changed, you know, just like everyone else, you know. Yes, I hate you, you left me, but I never stopped thinking about you, not even a day. I miss you, honestly, but I'll erase you because it hurts less than to blame you. Oh, man. There is so much there in the lyrics, in the visuals, in the sounds that immediately communicate to me loss and grief and change. And that is how this song is able to communicate way more than just words can. And, and that's what really good music does. It communicates a lot of complexity. It, music works like a language that is able to communicate not just information, but emotions really effectively. Music is also a time machine, and sometimes listening to songs can immediately take you back to specific memories. Like when I listen to Spring Day, it's also taking me back to the time before I was a psychologist, when I was in grad school, and when um, time seemed to be so limitless, and I was, 
I was so free and I had so much fun and how much of that changed once I got out of school and uh, had to face a reality of, uh, of day-to-day life. Um, yeah, maybe for you, listening to a song takes you back to when you first heard it and what was going on in your life right there. But that's what kind of what's so beautiful about music. It's this mood-altering time machine. Speaking of the time machine, this song reminds me of those really difficult moments in the pandemic. Like, not only is the music very reflective, but it starts with the pulling of the mask. And um, it's like the perfect accompaniment to shelter in place, pandemic, everything is canceled, we're all indoor times. It feels like it's the the anthem to that part of the pandemic and um like even watching everyone in bts like kind of having this like slumber party and being together it kind of reminds me of some of the um some of the beautiful connection i actually had during the pandemic of being stuck at home with my wife and my daughter but that there's no end in sight is there a way out My feet refuse to move on. Close your eyes for a moment. Hold my hand. To the future, let's run away. Like an echo in the forest. Those lines are just so validating to me about where I was when I first saw the song. It dropped in the second half of 2020. And it just spoke to that desire of hoping for a better future, but feeling like you're stuck. It's, it's the perfect pandemic shelter in place song. And stars tonight. Okay, let's talk about Dynamite, because this is a song probably most non-ARMY people know in America. This is one of the first BTS songs that really broke in America and became very mainstream. So it was a lot of people's first introduction, not only to BTS, but to K-pop. And what I think is amazing about this, this is getting heavy. Can you hear the bass boom? Woohoo! Anyways, what's so cool about this is for a lot of Americans watching BTS for the first time, they don't look anything like the boy bands we're used to here. We're used to boy bands that really represent a lot of traditional ideas about masculinity in America. And here we see like these guys who are like largely pretty slender, having lots of different like hairstyles and hair colors and like right there, like looking looking very different than what a lot of famous boy bands in America look like. And I know K-pop is a very different thing, but again, thinking from the perspective of Americans watching this for the first time, this kind of pushes ideas of what it means to be masculine, of what it means to be a male. And I love that about BTS. One of the biggest problems with the way masculinity plays out in America is this idea of fragile masculinity. Like you have to fit this narrow mold. And if you're outside of that mold, your status as a male can be questioned. It can be, um, you can lose it. Like masculinity in America is like difficult to attain and easy to lose. And BTS gives you just a little bit of freedom to express yourself differently and to celebrate Uh, just a very different way to identify as male. That's actually what disco was kind of about. Disco was about pushing a lot of these ideas. And I also love that BTS is kind of reclaiming a little bit of that here. Smooth like butter, like criminal undercover. Pop like trouble, breaking into your heart like that. All right, let's talk about better. Better. No, let's talk about Butter. The newest BTS song, the single just dropped, um, and the video is amazing. But this video to me represents the overall thesis of BTS. All right, this video is basically about how smooth BTS is. Uh, 
Oh, they're so good. I, I, it's so hard to like talk when like this is played because this video is so good. But like, this, <laughs> this elevator part. Oh my gosh, it's so, it's so smooth. It's so good. Creep you up like a robber. Can you fall like that? Break it down. What I have been able to determine from watching a ton of BTS and talking to ARMY and like being in the, oh man, this elevator scene, I love this. I, they're so good. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Oh my gosh! The leg work! The extensions! It's so good. Oh. Hey, let it roll. All right, back to psychology. The overall thesis that I've determined that is BTS is to love yourself, to celebrate your differences, that the things that make you unique are the things that make you awesome. Celebrate those, get good at them, share them with the world. We got an army reference. And that is what this song is kind of doing is like, we we started this song, uh, we started this video, now it feels like forever ago, but talking about dope and like how hard BTS had worked to become who they are. And this video is kind of celebrating how smooth they are. The fact that they can make that look like incredibly cool. And this is what BTS is kind of encouraging all of us to do is find the thing that makes you uniquely you and celebrate that self-love that like you cannot love anyone else until you love yourself and that is a beautiful message what is your favorite bts song and why let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of my reactions check out this playlist right over here if you want me to react to something else uh, let me know in the comments below and if you want more videos that celebrate mental health make psychology fun and easy to understand subscribe to the psych show